I'm out of wine and everything else. And my cat's in a fucking coma. So where the fuck was I? Let's get as far as I can. Ugh. 64. And they shall not receive less than $50 for a share of that stock. So it's the safe bet. They'll get their money back, right? And that house, they shall be permitted to receive $15,000 from any one man for a stock in that house. Trust me. It's going to happen. Yeah. 60, 66. And they shall not be permitted to receive under $50,000 for a share of stock from any man in that house. That totally sounds legit. Wow. Man, all these fucking... Fat cats. They're all rich now. Or, I mean, they're all dead now, but I mean, in heaven. And rich during their lifetimes, I'm sure. Sixty-seven. And they shall not be permitted to receive any man as a stockholder in this house, except the same shall pay his stock into their hands at the time he receives stock. Sixty-eight. And in proportion to the amount of stock he pays into it's getting complicated here and I just thought I just dropped my mic and woke my cat up oh fuck he's awake again alright <laughs> oops and I lost my place. <sighs> I woke you up, didn't I? Damn me. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm paying attention to you, I promise. <sighs> 71. And that's a guess. Um, and if they do appropriate pr appropriate any portion of that stock anywhere else only in that house without the consent of the stockholder man it's getting complicated uh, and do not repay for hold for the stock <laughs> wherein they appropriate anywhere else only in that house they shall be accursed damn it <laughs> And she'll be moved out of their place. And lose their money, I guess. But fuck them. They had it coming. Uh, Saith the Lord God, for I, the Lord, am God. Take his word for it. And cannot be mocked. Oops, a little late there. I already did it. <laughs> and have been doing it for some time. 
Someday, maybe. <sighs> and any of these things, and I just did. Being a Philistine infidel, who's run out of wine and weed. <sighs> 72! Verily I say unto you, let my servant Joseph pay stock into their hands for the building of that house, that's big of him, as seemeth him good. Not that big, though. But my servant Joseph cannot pay over $15,000 stock in that house. I mean, if he had more, he probably could, but... Uh, nor under $50. Neither can any other man say the Lord. Okay, <laughs> I need more wine or something. 73! God damn it! And there are others also who wish to know my will concerning them. For they have asked it at my hands. Seventy-four. Therefore, I say unto you, concerning my servant, Vincent Knight, if he will do my will, let him put stock in that house for himself. Not like he's pressuring him or anything. It's going to be fucking gold. Do it! God wants you to. For himself. And for his generation after him. Because even if he doesn't see it in his lifetime, it's going to happen. Trust Joey and God, who's actually speaking through Joey to his guy taking dictation. The latest one. 75! I just woke the cat up again. All right. Uh, and let him lift up his voice long and loud in the midst of of the people to plead the cause of the poor. That's nice of you. And I'm sure you got plenty of money by now so some can trickle down. And the needy, and let him not fail, neither let his heart faint, because it sucks when it happens, uh, and I will accept of his offerings. Wow, that's nice. Thank you. It'd suck if I just wasted them. For they shall not be unto me as the offerings of Cain. Okay, killed Abel. And grew antlers and got shot with an arrow. Because his great, 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 great grandson. Or something like that in the kingdom that he built as a vagabond and rootless traveler who's cursed, fuck him. Uh, 
for killing Abel and doing the first murder and all that shit. Totally lost my place and got confused. So let's go. Yeah, he didn't like Cain's offerings because they were like vegan. He prefers some mutton. And so do I. And so does Loki. Ow. God damn it. Ow. Let go. Piece of Harry Roden. Uh, I love that. I have so many scratches they don't have time to heal. He loves me that much. By cat. 76. Let his family rejoice and turn away their hearts from affliction. So, pay up. Because it's like an insurance policy. An afterlife insurance policy. Even better. It keeps paying after you're dead. I mean, you just pay into it so far and then it just goes on for eternity. As long as you have a, blood, a bloodline. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't that what he's saying? <sighs> 76. Let his family, family rejoice and turn away their hearts from affliction. All right, I read that one already. 77. Verily, I say unto you, let my servant Hiram put stock into that house, as seemeth him good. Pay until it hurts, probably. Because it's going to be all residuals after that. You'll be in the black forever. But I mean in a enlightened sort of way. <sighs> For himself and his generation after him, from generation to generation, 78. Let my servant Isaac Galland put stock into that house, for I, the Lord, love him and his money for the work he hath done and will forgive all his sins, even those child molestations or something else. You know, serial killing spree. <laughs> it's all Turn it off like a white light switch. Just go click. It's a neat little Mormon trick. Uh, isn't that awesome? Uh, forgive him all his sins, therefore let him be remembered for a for an interest in that house from generation to generation. It's not sounding so good all of a sudden. 79. Let my servant Isaac Galland be appointed among you and be ordained by my servant William Marks and be blessed of him not a pyramid scheme um, to go with my servant Hiram see uh, to accomplish the work of my servant jo uh, the work that my servant Joseph shall appoint out of them, out to them, 
and they shall be greatly blessed unless <laughs> 80 I need some more fucking wine god damn it let my servant William Marks pay stock into that house as seemeth him good but remember early in Acts you know the sequel to Luke. Don't be holding back. If you can do more, do it. And see with him good. For himself and his, his generation, from generation to generation, so not just this one, but all of them, 81. Let my servant Henry G. Sherwood Pay stock, but it's not some kind of a land scheme or you know, scam. This is like ordained from up there, somewhere, wherever there is up there. Uh, S seem good. Proceed. Uh, as seemeth him good for himself and his seed after him from generation to generation. 82. Let my servant William Law pay stock into that house for himself. Getting a little repetition here. A little repetition here. I know Loki, I'm bored too. <sighs> Uh, William Law pay stock into that house for himself and his seed after him. Guaranteed. Sounds like a solid bet. No risk involved at all. It's all in the black. In an enlightened way. 83 if he will do my will, let him not take his family into the eastern lands, even unto Kirtland. Nevertheless, I, the Lord, will build up Kirtland. But I, the Lord, have a scourge prepared for the inhabitants thereof. So you don't want to be there when it happens. It's not like he has complete control of shit. All that power, you know, I mean, stay out of the way, man. Respect it. Okay. Eighty-four. And with my servant, Almond Babbitt, there are many things which I am not pleased. You're being singled out, gosh. Behold, he aspireth to establish his counsel instead of the counsel which I have ordained. How dare him! can't be making up your own shit. <sighs> Not yet, anyway. Even that of the presidency of my church. That's God talking, not just Smith. I guess. And he setteth up a golden calf. I'm sure he's speaking figurative figuratively, using poetic license and all, for the worship of my people. Come on, man, they don't need any study guides. They got it down. No golden calves, okay? No Id idolatry in all that shit. Eighty-five. 
Let no man go from this place. Who has here essaying to keep my commandments? Maybe I need to read that one again. Let no man go from this place. Who has come here essaying to keep my commandments? All right. That's about the same thing. Okay. I thought I, maybe it was my, you know, I thought it was my, you know, misdelivery. <sighs> 86. If they live here, let them live unto me. But nothing to do with slavery here indentured servitude or obligation of any kind. And if they die, let them die unto me. That's what you're worth. You're a pawn. Disposable. See, cats get it. They know better. That's why they're so fucking sinful. You're evil, Loki. I named you right. Okay. Eighty-six. If they live, let them live unto me. If they die, let them die unto me. For they shall rest from all their labors here and shall continue their works. Eighty-seven. Let me find something else here. Let's see if I got something else. Therefore, let my servant William on a first name basis here, put his trust in me and cease to fear concerning his family. That's awful nice. Because of the sickness of the land. It's probably some sinner's fault. Somewhere. You should single them out, stone them, or burn them, you know, and you won't have any diseases. Ever. Let's find the sinners, the ones who stand out, different ones. The unique ones, or semi-unique anyway, individuals. Uh, if ye love me, keep my commandments. But it's not like it's conditional or anything. And the sickness of the land shall redound to your glory. It's all on you. 88. Let my servant William go and proclaim my everlasting gospel with a loud voice and with great joy, so keep it up, as he shall be moved upon by my spirit unto the inhabitants of Warsaw, and also under the habits inhabitants of Carthage, and also under the inhabitants of Burlington, and also under the inhabitants of Madison, and await patiently and diligently for further instructions at my general conference, saith the Lord, and that's God talking, God damn it. So just stand at attention, ready for commandments. 89! I love owning my own house finally. <laughs> no neighbors to bang on the wall. If he will do my will let him henceforth hearken 
to the counsel of my servant Joseph Smith, the guy who started this whole fucking daisy chain, and with his interest support the cause of the poor and publish the new translation of my holy word. Is that the BOM? Are we already revising it at this point? Unto the inhabitants of the earth. I don't know. Who could say? I'm going to start the next one at 90. I don't know if I'll do it today or tomorrow. Depends on if I can find some more wine or something. Should I follow beer with wine? I mean, wine with beer? Probably not. Let me know if you learned something. I'll finish this fucking section, but it, God damn, it goes on forever! And I don't, don't have enough wine or sobriety left. Anyway, uh, I'll try to do one more, at least. Somehow. Let me know if you learned some, something. Stay tuned.